Online shopping on your website needs to be a seamless experience for your customers. And there's nothing worse than having to sit through a full page reload every time an item is added to the shopping cart. That's why modern websites use Ajax. It triggers a soft reload, updating the cart, but keeping the other parts of the page static. So how do you enable Ajax across your entire web shop? Well, in this video, we're going to discover three different ways to accomplish this. First, we'll take a look at the default settings, which do have some limitations. Then we'll look at the custom code options, which to be fair, can get quite technical. So then I'll show you a few plugins, which will automatically enable Ajax across various different pages of your WooCommerce store. Let's just jump straight into it. Now, thankfully, out of the box, WooCommerce comes with an Ajax add to cart feature, which you can activate on the product archive page, like your main shop page or your category or tag pages. Now this does work, but it's only for the archive pages, but it doesn't work in particular on individual product pages. Now this means it doesn't work for variable products and it also doesn't work when you're selecting more than one of an item at a time because those functions are both limited to product pages. I'll talk a little bit more about this later on, but for now, let's just enable the default Ajax within WooCommerce. So in your WooCommerce site admin, first navigate to WooCommerce, click on settings, and then come up to the products tab and find the general tab, which should be the first one that loads. And then here in the add to basket behavior, you want to enable this Ajax option. Scroll down and click on save changes. So let's go back to the shop page and see how that's working. So here on the main shop page, if I click on add to basket, you can see it's already added that one into my basket automatically and it shows up here as a new item. Now let's talk about using code to enable Ajax and it definitely is possible to do. If you're confident in your development skills and you're prepared to maintain this code long term over multiple updates of WordPress and WooCommerce, then by all means, go ahead and jump into these steps. But I will warn you that if it's not something you're prepared to maintain, then the plugin options, which I'll be talking about in a minute, are going to be much easier for you. So if this is something new for you, I recommend the plugins, which are coming later in the video. But if you want to go ahead and try these steps for yourself, you can find all of the code snippets linked below in the description in our blog article. I'll just quickly walk you through what those steps are now. So step one is to create the JavaScript file. That is the Ajax add to cart.js in your child themes JavaScript folder. It can sometimes also be located in your child themes assets folder. And if the JavaScript folder doesn't exist at all, then you can create one and make sure you write the exact path to the JS file when enqueuing it in PHP. That's coming up in step two. Now this file contains the code that listens for the add to cart button click and prevents the default page reload. Instead, it triggers an Ajax call to add the product to the cart, updating the cart without reloading the page. In step two, you need to enqueue the JavaScript. Open your child themes functions.php file and use WP in Q script to load the JavaScript code responsible for handling the Ajax request on your single product pages. For step three, you need to handle the Ajax request with PHP. In your child themes functions.php file, define the function that processes the incoming Ajax requests. This PHP function adds the product to the WooCommerce cart and sends back updated cart fragments. For example, the cart total or the number of items to refresh the cart section in the user's view. And finally, we need to ensure that cart fragments are refreshed. WooCommerce automatically handles refreshing the cart when products are added via Ajax. However, if the mini cart or cart fragments are not updating after the product is added, make sure WooCommerce's WC cart fragment script is enabled. In your child themes functions.php file, you can add the provided code snippet from the blog. So now let's move on to the much simpler option, installing plugins that extend our Ajax functionality. Of course, as always, you can find links to all of these plugins in the description below this video. First up, we have the Ajax add to cart for WooCommerce plugin, which takes WooCommerce's built-in features one step further. Now this is used on over 20,000 sites, and has very good reviews overall. Basically, it just adds the Ajax add to cart feature to single product pages in WooCommerce. You can use the link below to download the plugin and add it to your site, or you can simply go to the plugin section on your site, click on add new plugin, 
and search for Ajax Add to Cart. Find the plugin by Quad Layers and click on Install. Then once you've activated it, you can test it out on your product pages. Now, I really like the simplicity of this plugin, but I will admit that it doesn't do anything to add to or improve the user experience on your site besides just adding a little bit of Ajax on product pages. So that's where these next plugins come in. If you want to upgrade the user experience and increase conversions as a result, WooCommerce product table upgrades the Woo default store layout with quick product order forms complete with Ajax add to cart buttons. Customers can select their desired products, variations, and quantities with these quick add to cart checkboxes, and then use the add selected to cart buttons to add all the selected items to their carts. And this is all powered by Ajax as well. Another option is WooCommerce bulk variations, which presents multiple product variations in an easy to use table or grid format on WooCommerce product detail pages. It makes the ordering process much simpler for customers. And of course, the add to cart buttons all use Ajax. But my favorite option would have to be WooCommerce fast cart. It totally revamps WooCommerce's default checkout flow and replaces it with a simpler conversion focused process. With WooCommerce Fast Card, once customers add their items to their cart from any page of your site, a pop up or slide in modal window appears. Customers can review their items, adjust quantities, or proceed to checkout without navigating away from the page. And any changes to the order will update dynamically using Ajax with no need for full page reloads. I made an entire video about how to set up FastCart on your website, which you can watch by clicking on the video thumbnail up here. And of course, if you want to try a live demo of the plugin before purchasing, you can use this link. And of course, thanks for watching.